What's the most challenging decision you think that you've had to make over the course of your career, Scott? I will narrow it down to, um, well, I think making a decision to stay Army medicine. Um, you know, as I was coming up in the medical uh, field and arena, you know, as um, a medical operations and plans officer, a, an administrator, um, I was really good at, at what I do. And I got to a point where um, the what we call the logisticians, non-medical people who deal with transportation, supply, quartermaster, maintenance, um, were pulling me in that direction, saying, hey, look, you know, you need to come, you know, over over here. And early in my career, I spent a lot of times on that side of the house as a medical leader and then going back and forth to a hospital assignment and not. You know, it, it initially was a tough decision because they were, you know, putting the carrot out in front of me about, hey, come this direction, be this. And I was like, no, I, I turned it down and I wanted to stay medical. Um, it was tough be at the time because I really didn't know um, the full impact of what Army medicine offered. However, it was the best decision. So I say not difficult, probably the best decision that I made to stay medical and to matriculate it up, leading medical units, hospitals and hospital systems and and the policy and the procedure. So I wouldn't say it was most difficult. That was probably the best decision, you know, that I made. 